The Zeiser Alm is the largest and highest meadow in the Alps, about 700 meters above the town of Kastelruth. Here, against a breathtakingly romantic backdrop, I was kissed by an ox, but more on that later. When the winter cold settles over the meadow, it's time for the cows to come home. This day means officially the end of the summer for the cows, and my challenge today is to bring them back to the valley. It's early morning up in the high meadow. The herd of nearly 40 belongs to the Leekhof. I couldn't ever bring them all down by myself. The farmers have to help out. They are dressed up for the occasion. The view from here is spectacular. The cows seem to know that it's time to head down. They start to move out. The farmers know their cows best. I've missed the starting signal and have to run to catch up. I'm already too late. <laughs> and now I'm trying to find my cows. I'm still running, but the herd's already taking their first rest stop. <laughs> At least they all waited for me to catch them. So fortunately, I didn't miss the second breakfast. The team will need the calories for the 23 kilometers we'll be walking today. The Matriax or Alpha cows must feel like they are at the beauty salon. They are being decked out for the drive. And the farmer, Reinhold Carbon, even has a clear favorite. This is my sunshine. She'll stay with us until she dies, that's certain. <laughs> Sunshine has taken part in seven autumn cattle drives. Do the cows enjoy it when they are rounded up and driven down? They know what's going on. When we hang the bells on them, they know right away they're headed home now. At some point, it's over up here. We are 2,000 meters altitude. You can't keep the cattle up here forever. It's actually a wonder they're even up here still. That they don't start wandering down on their own. <laughs> Coming down by themselves. Exactly. For me, the real challenge is yet to come. I'm actually entrusted with leading one bull. I have to take care of Louis, the ox, for the next few hours. But he's stubborn as, well, as an ox. I don't think that this is going to work, but we will see. I turn on the charm to win over my ox. Every bovine has its own personality, but in the end, all of them can be handled. Now we have to make some real headway. We won't be stopping till we reach the valley. That's a five hour march downhill at a brisk pace and I'm not making any friends. I already lost my cow. I have to admit, I'm not much help to the farmers here. On the contrary, I have to be careful not to get in their way or slow them down. Obviously, I'm always the last in this group and I really have to hurry up uh, because I think I already made three kilometers but there are still 20 more to walk. So, bye-bye, see you later. Traditionally, the autumn cattle drive is a man's job but everyone follows sunshine, the matriarch. I've jostled my way to the front. We women have to stick together. So I like it this way. In this case, the women are in the leading role. And I don't mean the cow, I mean these young ladies. Farther down in the valley, we pass through little hamlets like Kompach. More and more spectators line the route and they have something to see. The cows have to come home one way or another, but the festive trappings are less for them than for the local people and, of course, the tourists. The farmers have nerves of steel. I can hardly stand to hear the noise from the cowbells anymore.
then suddenly trouble. One of the oxen has broken away and must be chased down. The tourists must have spooked him. One of the helpers spots him high up the mountainside. One wrong move and he might fall to his death. But the farmer's son knows how to calm him down. Even so, the bullock has to climb back down on his own. He's eager to return to the herd. Are the cows nervous? Yes, probably because of all the people here. Because of me, tell me. They're not getting excited over you. If it were only you, we wouldn't have any problem. And now I've got something else to worry about. Down in the valley, the herd is blocking traffic. And I'm afraid one of the cows might become roadkill. But they go calmly trotting through the roundabout. After all, they don't have to yield to anyone ever. Once in town, a little property damage can hardly be avoided. Here in Kastelroth, the farmers and the herd are greeted like celebrities. Hundreds line the streets, wanting to witness at least some part of the autumn cattle drive. And the farmers get a well-earned reward. Then the cows head back out of the town. The last few meters to their home farm are easy going. They've all arrived in the valley safe and sound. The cows know their home. They'll be able to stay outside in the pasture here next to the farmhouse for another month. I check up on Louis the ox one last time. He's not lost. Here we are. Everything is fine. Good boy. <laughs> and now, at last, I've got a little time to learn the art of whip cracking. I don't know why, but my whip refuses to crack. It just gets tangled up. Even after their five-hour downhill hike, everyone is still wound up, even the farmer's daughter, Yasmine Kabul. All the work the farmers have throughout the whole year is really celebrated on this one day. And the farmers can show how proud they are of their cows. And that is really a nice thing. My showing as a cowgirl was nothing to be proud of, but at least I held out to the end. And the muscle aches I got are the stuff of legend.